Y'all ready? Hey, my friends, it's time for circle. Hey, my friends, come and have a seat. Hey, my friends, it's time for circle. Please put your things away and put your eyes on me. If you can hear me, touch your nose. If you can hear me, touch your ears. If you can hear me, touch your tummy and your legs. Stop! <laughs> Very good, friends. I'm so excited to see you guys today. I wonder if you saw my video yesterday. Do you remember where I was? I was outside by a creek. There was water everywhere. It was so much fun. Me and the boys that I'm watching, we went on a hike yesterday. Have you been able to get outside and play? Well, it's super nice and super sunny outside today, and so I hope that you guys get some time to go outside and play. Mrs. Grabarska just posted a video of her and her kids outside playing and doing some activities, and I think that you should go watch that on our Facebook group. Today, I have a book for you, and it's called There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Shell. A shell? Where would you find a shell like that? At the beach, probably. You would find a shell like that at the beach. You're right. Are you ready to find out why this crazy lady decided she was going to swallow a shell? Let's see if we can find out. There was an old lady who swallowed a shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. Well, looks like we're not going to find out why she swallowed the shell. She's not telling anybody. There was an old lady who swallowed a crab. Why did she grab that crawling crab? She swallowed the crab to live inside the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She wouldn't tell. Did you know that some crabs live inside of a shell? Yeah, not all crabs live inside of a shell, but some do. Those are called hermit crabs. Can you say that? Hermit crabs. Hermit crabs live inside of a shell. There was an old lady who swallowed a fish. A tickly dish, that swimming fish. Look at that. How did she fit that whole fish in her mouth, you guys? She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She wouldn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a gull. It wasn't dull to swallow a gull. What is a gull? It's a seagull. Look at her. She must be a hungry, hungry lady. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. Everything that she's swallowing is swallowing all the other things. There was an old lady who swallowed a pail. What is a pail? At school, a lot of friends call that a bucket. <laughs> she swallowed that blue bucket. There was an old lady who swallowed a pail. She didn't wail when she swallowed the pail. Wail means cry. She didn't cry when she swallowed the bucket. She looks happy. <laughs> she swallowed the pail to carry the gull. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She 
She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. And I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed some sand. Oh, how bland to swallow some sand. Yuck. Do you guys put sand in your mouth when you're at the beach or on the playground? No, because that's gross. She swallowed the sand to fill up the pail. She swallowed the pail to carry the gull. Hmm. She swallowed the sand to fill up the pail. She swallowed the pail to carry the gull. Do you think that the pail could carry the sand and the gull? It's supposed to do both things. <clears throat> she swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. That fish looks worried. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell, but I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She wouldn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a wave. Look at all of the things in this wave. Look at all of the different kinds of fish. Fish, crab, hermit crab, fish. Look at that blue crab, starfish. There was an old lady who swallowed a wave. Swallowing a wave was such a big hassle that she suddenly burped. What is happening, friends? And built a sand castle. <laughs> is that funny? She burped all of those things out of her body and made a sand castle. Good. Do you guys want to do the jump up and down song with me? Yeah? It's kind of the theme for this week. We'll switch songs next week. Ready? Everybody stand up. Stand up. Ready? Okay. Everybody. <coughs> everybody, everybody, jump up and down. Jump up and down, friends. Jump up and down. Everybody, everybody, jump up and down. Now sit back down. Very good. Everybody sitting? Do you want to do it one more time? Yes? Okay. Stand up. Actually, in sign language, you go stand up. Ready? Everybody, everybody, jump up and down, jump up and down, friends, jump up and down. Everybody, everybody, jump up and down, now sit back down, very good. Good job, everybody. Before we move on to our next part, I just wanted to pop in a little informational for parents. Next week, I am going to have a couple of times where I will be at Faith creating activity bags for you guys to come and pick up. So be on the lookout for a message on Bright Wheel, and I'll tell you which days and what times um, I will be at the school putting out activities. I will put them right outside the door for all of you, and you guys can pick them up and get some materials at your home. Friends, we are going to talk about the days of the week really quick. Do you guys know what day of the week it is today, the day that I'm recording? The day that I'm recording today is Friday. Friday. Do you know what comes after Friday? Friday. Saturday. That's right. Did I hear somebody say Saturday? And the day before Friday. So yesterday. What day was yesterday? Thursday. Very good. We are going to sing the song about the days of the week. Ready? We do. 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we start again. Use your hands. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we start again. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we start again. Let's count on our fingers. How many days of the week are they? Are there? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we start again. Ready? Let me see your fingers. Ask for help if you need help with your fingers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we start again. Good job, you guys. So today is Friday, and tomorrow is Saturday, and the day after that is Sunday. That means we have two stay-at-home days with our family before we get to see each other again. I'm going to post a new video for you guys on Monday, and that's when I'm going to see you next. But before I leave, I want to make sure that we do our good morning song. Are you ready? Okay. See your hands. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. You very well, I thank you. How about you? How about you? Ready? Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. How about you? How about you? Okay, guys, have a really great weekend. Get outside and move your bodies. I love you, and I'll see you on Monday.